Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Monday, January 21st, 2013, and this is your next update on the Zero Fossil Fuel rocket stove, uh, or the rocket heater. I wouldn't exactly call it Zero Fossil Fuel, but let's just say it's minimal fossil fuel. Um, the stove is complete. I was up till 2 a.m. Uh, this morning finishing this thing off. Uh, there were just a couple of minor changes that I needed to make to it this morning, but uh, I wanted to go through with you the uh, assembly and uh, disassembly of the rocket stove. It is completely serviceable. I made it so that it can be taken apart, put back together, change out the fire bricks, etc., etc., etc. This stack of bricks right here are the bricks that create the firebox inside the lower portion of the J-tube inside the, the rocket heater. And back here, you can see I have inside the 8-inch uh, galvanized pipe, I have the three sections of flue stack assembled, and I have insulation already stuffed in there to, to uh, insulate the side walls of this even further and create a much hotter burn in the flue stack. So, getting right into the disassembly, uh, I have, uh, as, as you'll see in this photo, I welded four brackets to the sides of the, uh, the tank where I split the tank and there are uh, four quarter inch by 20 thread uh, studs that go through and just align with the top bracket that's welded on the, onto the top half of the tank. They were welded in place with the screws tightened so that uh, you can get, the, get them aligned properly vertically so that the, the tank will just slip right on top of the threads for the studs. Removing the top, comes right off, set this aside, and in this next photo you see the inside of the uh, rocket mass heater. Uh, you see that there are a couple of braces that have been welded to the back side of the firebox and tack welded to the bottom of the, uh, of the edge of the curved surface of the tank. And you can also see in this photograph the, uh, the uh, four inch pipe, galvanized pipe starter, starter piece with the, uh, the flared ends cut and folded outward and secured into place with uh, furnace cement. On the back, I have a 90 degree elbow, and without my flu stack, I have my, my chin cap kind of as a, as a joke. But uh, I'm going to go through now how we go about putting together all of the bricks in the firebox and assembling the stack and putting the whole thing together. I will be testing this very, very shortly outside. I have quite a, quite a nice crowd gathered on my Justin TV chat room ch and my Justin TV channel who are watching live right now, uh, but as I, as I tape this, they're also watching me tape the, uh, the YouTube video. So getting right into it, the original concept for the firebox was to make this panel right here removable, which is why you see the seven screws around the, uh, the lower edge of it because I thought I would need to insert the bricks straight into the open channel but as it turns out I can assemble all of the bricks in the lower half of the J-tube by simply inserting them from the top and pushing them into place so I'm going to show you how that's done this is the brick I have it labeled back and that goes in this. so if the stove were completely assembled I could simply insert it like this and rock it into place, but I can insert it flat and then tip it upward into place, push it back. This is the bottom of my burn tunnel, which has to go in last, and this is the right hand side of the burn tunnel. Now my bottom 
piece goes in. And now the top piece for the burn tunnel slides into place. This is the left hand wall of the feet tube. side of the feed tube, right side of the feed tube, and lastly the front of the feed tube. And there you have it, the, uh, the lower half of the firebox is completely assembled. All that remains is to set the pre-assembled flu stack, and I also have the uh, the edges notched out for the lower firebox. So I'm just going to lift it up. This is very heavy. And set it into place. And there you have it. The flue stack is aligned. Cap, made captive by the, the box down below and you'll also see that I have a metal strap at the top with the corners protruding out just under two inches from the outside edge of the 8 inch flue stack and then the top half of the barrel simply goes on top of this and sets against the fireplace glass rope that uh, seals the two chambers together. Go ahead and put the top half back on again, just so you can see how it goes on. A little difficult up high. I plan to do this much lower outside. And that's it. Four nuts on the tops of the threads just to hold it in place. Stick the front of my feed tube back on. Like so. And it's done. That is the assembly of the Zero Fossil Fuel Rocket Heater made from a 17 gallon air compressor tank. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, my next step is to take it all apart again, haul it outside, and do the first burn. That'll be in the next video. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you'll subscribe. Appreciate all the donations that I receive, and I wish everyone well. Peace. Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Monday, January 21st, 2013, and you see the stack in the background. That is my rocket stove. First firing. I can't wait to show you. I got a sideways burn. Stove has only been running for about, oh, maybe three minutes, and it is still producing smoke until the uh, until the flue inside, I presume, heats up enough.
That sounds like a pretty rockety burn to me. That's all for now, Zero Fossil Fuel from the lab. Peace everyone. Casual. Oh, who's sending me a text message now? I don't make a good blooper.